I've finally made it to my favorite thrift store. I'm so excited. I haven't been able to come here in ages because having a job and being able to go out and do the things that you really want to do turns out really hard. But I'm sort of trying to find that balance between like work and play and I'm, I'm getting there. I'm slowly making headway. But I hope you're not sick of seeing this particular thrift store. I'm never sick of seeing it because there's always new and interesting stuff here. What I like about it is that they don't discriminate against things. If they think they can make money off of it, which is pretty much anything, they won't throw it out. So you're not gonna find them picking and choosing what they're gonna sell and what they're gonna toss. So I'm moving to a new place on the 25th and I'm hoping that I might find something for the home as well. But I also wanna try and find some clothes, bits and pieces, who knows, but I've only given myself $25 in cash. I'm not gonna be taking out my debit card or anything like that. So I wanna see if I could keep it 25 or under. Otherwise, I'm just not gonna buy it. So we shall see. So here we are at the thrift store. I don't know where it went. He's like disappeared into the haze. The fuck? Stuart! There he is, all the way in the distance. Can you see him? He's tiny, but he gets hungry really easily. So he's probably going to get a burger or something. Fuck, now I want one. All right, no, I'll get into the store. Like I said, I always go to the lingerie section first because you can always find pieces that you can DIY. And um, sometimes, sometimes you can find corsets here. And wouldn't it be great if I found a good corset? Or a slip. I remember we were looking for slips last time. What is this? Okay, I just have to see this. Okay, so this is just your standard 80s bustier that you can pretty much find at any thrift store that you go to, but this one's clearly been DIY'd. Yeah, you can see where the gap is there. So they did a kind of screen print on this. This is really interesting. I don't know what it's meant to say, but it's definitely creative, but not what we're looking for. To be fair, I don't know what it is I'm looking for. I'll just know when I see it. Do you ever have that? You kind of, you just have a feeling, not an idea, but a general feel, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, okay, I'm a stickler for candle holders. I love them so much, but my surfaces are gonna be covered if I continue this way. The skirt. This is the kind of skirt I'm looking for. Okay, so what size is this? Just need to see what size it is. See, I know it's a little bit bigger. I can tell it's bigger in the waist. Okay, so the thing about thrifting, if you have very little sewing know-how, really take to YouTube, find tutorials, find anything you can because too big is not a problem. Too small is a problem, but too big is never a problem because you can always reduce the size. You could always take it in. And then you end up with interesting fabric left over to do something cool with. You can build an entire outfit, no matter how simple it is, around a belt. What do you think of these? More suede than anything else. It's this way. Can you hold it for a sec? Thanks. Thanks, Bob. I was yeah. hungry. People were in danger. Yeah, I noticed that you took off, and I was like, he's definitely getting a burger or something. From I next. bought you a burger too. You got me a burger? I saw. I literally said, I hope he brings me a burger. I didn't put extra pickle in it. He got me a burger with extra pickles. It was very sweet of you. Thank you. Make it. Mm, I love you. Thank you. So, what do you think? Do you think these could work? Yes. All right, well, they're $14.99, and it's not the sticker of the day. I really wanted to try to stick to the sticker of the day because I gave myself $25, and I want to keep as under that as I saw. What the fuck is this? I just saw spikes and got excited. I can work. I could. Yeah. Well, the, no, I'm not too into the platform and the heel that's kind of, I don't know. Spikes. I do like the spikes. See, it's the spikes that drew me in. These are really cute. Things like these, little Oxford booties. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, wait.
Wait a minute. These have O-rings on them. Look, look. Hi. I like hardware. Yeah, I played badly stuff. Help, yeah, help, help. No, it's quite badly stuff. They are, they're scuffed to fuck, aren't they? That's from the PVC. Yeah. Like the shitty material. I feel like if they were leather, even if faux leather, they would work better. Kind of inappropriate song. I'm really dressing up in clothes, and I'm pretty sure Madonna's talking about fucking. Anything black, I get excited. So here's a general idea that I'm working with. And I know I did a DIY of a blazer before, but this is a different kind of blazer that I want to do. I want to actually get, um, you know the kind of school uniform blazer um, with the crest on it? I want something with that kind of fit to it. And I want to either make patches or buy them and just sort of embellish it a bit. And I think we can make it really interesting. This is a 1970s number. The 80s have come to save the day. Look at that. In gear and new with tags. Twelve. This thing is from like 1988, right? And just because it has the tag still on it, they're going to charge you $12.99. So here's a little request for people that are putting things out to go to the thrift stores. If they have tags still attached, pull the tags off. But when you keep the tags on the clothes before you donate, it gives the thrift store the incentive to charge you more because they can. Let's not give them the chance. When I donate anything, if it still has the tags attached, I pull them right off rather some excited person get like a really cool find than have the thrift store make a ton of money off of it. I have a thing for bottles. <laughs> I love them. Bottles and jars. That's oh, a hat. It doesn't look very practical. No. Can you imagine being in a rush and putting it on inside out? Okay. So if you find any... Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this blazer. What's that? Is that velvet? I know how much you love velvet. There's two of them. I know. Well, you hate velvet. <laughs> Not really. Ooh, but... Oh, no, no, no. That's, that feels like... No. Old lady curtains. That's $6.99. Is it half off? No, damn it! Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Why is this... Oh, because it's body by fucking Victoria. That's why it's $12.99. See, that one I would have to change. This one's $14.99 because the tags are still on. Stop leaving the tags on, people. I'm still stuck on the first one. That principal is not allowing me to purchase. I can't feasibly bring myself. Mm. Okay, now I'm putting it back because despite it being perfect, the fit that I need, I can't do it. I can't. All right, we're going to start from the beginning here. It must exist. Okay. Too short, also too tight. Wait a minute. I think Old Navy has come in to save the day, and I like that it's pointy. Changing the buttons. $8.99. I grabbed one thing for work, and it's literally a pair of leggings. Now, technically, we're not allowed to wear leggings at work unless we wear a dress over it or a tunic, and it covers the butt, so it kind of looks like tights. But I really wanted something comfortable. What in the actual... 
let's put together a really bad outfit and let people think that, oh my God, they did it already. And that's also a weird hobby that I have. I like to put together the worst possible outfit and leave them on sort of end caps and let people think that somebody was thinking of buying that whole outfit together. It's like super long so you could wrap it a bunch of times. Just dancing at the store. Look at these. No dose. I'm really excited about these. I'm excited about these. Stuart won't be, but I am because they're not real metal. Watch what he says. Hey, honey, what do you think of these? You have to open them. You have to open them. Yes, it's a candle holder. What do you think? Do you like it? So, I mean, it's not a complete bust. I got a pair of leggings for work and I got a blazer, which a lot of you have been asking me to do more unisex designs or just in fashion in general, just more geared toward men. But this is something that could be both. So, I hope you like it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go the more Victorian button route or if I'm going to try military buttons. 